Now to the federal election campaign and battleground Vancouver Island. How important is the island in this race? Well, Prime Minister Stephen Harper came here first thing this morning to launch the first full week of his campaign, and he did so with his first policy promise. The Conservatives chose a quiet neighborhood in Saanich to lay out their plan for income splitting. Later we'll show you what that means for working families, but first, A News reporter Shachi Curl with what the impact of the PM's early visit may be for island Conservatives who are fighting to win a seat. A serious accident on the Pat Bay Highway this morning. It both delayed Conservative leader Stephen Harper's campaign stop in Saanich and served as a reminder of the South Island's tricky transportation issues. More in federal taxes. Harper was in town to boost the fortunes of Esquimalt Juan de Fuca candidate Troy D'Souza. This is his third try for the big trip to Ottawa as MP, but victory seems closer this time, with popular incumbent Keith Martin retiring. And if all politics is local, he's focusing on that most local of issues, the traffic that stalls and snarls a busy commuter route. In a close campaign, D'Souza has made getting an overpass built where Highway 1 meets Mackenzie the centerpiece of his campaign two elections running. Naturally, we wanted to know where the Prime Minister stood on that issue. I, you know, generally leave those kinds of questions to our local candidates. Uh, we have had, as you know, very vigorous uh, infrastructure programs across the country, particularly during uh, the uh, recession. We always work with lower levels of government, with our members of parliament in our ridings, with representatives of provincial municipal government to identify what the priorities are. A ringing endorsement or a dodge? D'Souza says he knows what he heard. Sachi, I think it's fair to say that the Prime Minister, on his third day of the election campaign, came into our riding. We certainly have the attention of people at the very top. But opposition candidates are unconvinced. Well, for the last two elections, Troy's promised the same non-solution to our transportation problems. What we really need are alternatives that will get people out of their cars. And it's not just traffic. As Christopher Costin transitions from Oak Bay mayor to Victoria liberal candidate, he wonders whether Harper will keep his commitment to pay the federal one-third share for secondary sewage treatment. I would certainly be making absolutely sure as a liberal that the funding was in place. We would have liked to ask the PM a little, okay, a lot more about these issues. But local reporters were told by the national campaign, sorry, only time for one local question. Harper had to go. He was off to a photo op, playing ping pong at a senior centre. Expect the parties to keep batting the issues back and forth for five more weeks. Shachi Curl joins us now with more. Shachi, there's been uh, criticism of the Conservatives in the past for running a, a so-called bubble campaign, uh, very tightly controlled. Uh, describe your experience with the PM here today. Well, Hudson, the event that we showed you just now was in Saanich, but myself and other local Victoria-based media were told to report to a hotel in Sydney at 8 a.m. We then sat around for an hour. We weren't told uh, how many events were planned. We weren't told where we were going, only that we had to go by bus. And when we were finally uh, able to pry a little bit of information out of a local volunteer, a retired veteran, no less, I watched as a, a young staffer reprimanded this man for spilling the beans to us uh, and that was just a snippet of how the morning went I'll leave our viewers to draw their own conclusions Hudson all right well May 2nd seems a long way off tonight but it, uh, it'll be here before we know it all right. Chachi thank you you're welcome